today we have the opportunity to continue the positive momentum that this committee has generated as we have considered and passed with overwhelmingly bipartisan votes five of the 12 annual appropriations bills for the first time in years. We convened today to take up three more funding bills, the Appropriations for Energy and Water Development, State and Foreign Operations, and Transportation and Housing and Urban Development. The Energy and Water Development Bill will help strengthen America's energy independence, supporting an all-of-the-above approach to energy research, development, and deployment efforts. It invests in critical Army Corps of Engineers, water infrastructure projects which provide flood control, ecosystem restoration, and safe navigation along our nation's ports and waterways. At a time when geopolitical tensions are growing, the bill also ensures that our nuclear deterrent remains robust and credible, and it takes critical steps to lessen our reliance on Russian-sourced uranium. I thank Chair Feinstein and Ranking Member Kennedy for their excellent work on this wide-ranging bill. Next, we will consider the state foreign ops appropriations bills. Senators Coons and Graham have put together a significant bill that recognizes America's leadership in the world and the critical role that programs funded by the subcommittee play in our national security. The bill provides robust funding for life-saving global health programs, promotes regional security in the Middle East, including through military aid to our key ally, Israel, and addresses critical humanitarian and development challenges in Africa and elsewhere in a fiscally responsible manner. This bill also provides resources to counter China's influence around the world and its aggression against Taiwan. In particular, I want to thank Chairman Coons and Ranking Member Graham for directing for the first time $125 million to help stop the flow of fentanyl, its precursor chemicals, and other synthetic drugs into the United States. Their actions in this bill will help save lives. This bill would also establish a counter-fentanyl coordinator at the State Department. Earlier this year, I raised with Secretary Blinken my concern that we needed to do much more to halt the flow of these illegal narcotics and their precursor chemicals into our country, and I very much appreciate what the chairman and ranking member have done in this regard. Finally, we will turn to the Transportation and Housing and Urban Development Bill drafted by Senators Schatz and Heismith. I was privileged to serve as the lead Republican on that subcommittee for a dozen years, and I'm glad to see that it's in such good hands under the leadership of Chairman Schatz and Ranking Member Hyde Smith. The bill supports initiatives such as the Raise Grant Program and the Bridge Formula Program, which help address our nation's deteriorating infrastructure. It invests in the FAA, supporting the addition of a substantial number of much-needed air traffic controllers and the modernization of outdated systems, such as the notice-to-air mission system that went offline earlier this year, shutting down airspace for several hours. I'm especially pleased that this bill continues support for shoreside infrastructure improvements at our nation's state maritime academies, including Maine Maritime Academy, that are necessary for docking the newly constructed national security multi-mission vessels. Despite a challenging budget year, the legislation maintains existing rental assistance for more than 4.6 million households and continues to make meaningful investments aimed at tackling the problem of homelessness, 
especially for our nation's veterans and youth. I thank Chairman Schatz and Ranking Member Hyde-Smith for their tremendous efforts in crafting this important bill. Again, I want to emphasize that these bills are fiscally responsible. I look forward to today's markup and to supporting each of these bills. With that, I make the following motion. Madam Chair, I move that the committee report favorably an original bill making appropriations for energy and water development and related agencies for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2024, and for other purposes. An original bill making appropriations for the Department of State, foreign operations, and related programs for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2024, and for other purposes. And an original bill making appropriations for the Departments of Transportation and Housing and Urban Development and Related Agencies for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2024, and other purposes, provided that each bill be subject to amendment and that each bill be consistent with its budget allocation, provided further that the chair of the committee or the chair of the subcommittee reporting the original bill be authorized to offer the substance of the original bill as a committee amendment in the nature of a substitute to the House Companion Measure.